guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, I'm Gabby. I want to share with you guys how I have my phone set up for productivity. I know productivity is such a big word, um, especially at the beginning of the year. And we just started a new year. I'm so excited that 2020 is over. I've had my phone like this for maybe six months now and it's been great. I will never ever go back to the other way my phone was set up previously. I don't know about you guys, but 2020 gave me a lot of time for reflection and I noticed that my phone was pulling me back from the things that I really wanted to get done. All right, so first off, we have the first page right here and this page is pretty much the home page and what my phone opens up to. What I like to have on my home page is apps that won't give me notifications and if they do, I've turned them off. So at the top here, we have our calendar and on the left hand side, it just gives me a little breakdown of what I need to get done throughout the day. Then we have the weather, self-explanatory. I like to know what the weather is before I go outside. Right next to it, we have our battery charger. I have my AirPods and I only have this now because I have an iWatch and AirPods and I used to be so bad at charging my AirPods. And on the bottom here, I have Clue, which is a period tracker. I love it, love it so much. We have Spotify music because music is life. Um, then photos, easy access to photos. I take photos all the time. Lastly here, I have my Medium app and Medium, if you don't know, is pretty much YouTube, but for writers and people just write articles here like they would create videos on YouTube. I like reading Medium a lot, especially in the morning. It gives me just a little bit of motivation. They have different categories, but I like to read about habits, productivity, side hustles, and all of that stuff. So highly recommend Medium if you are trying to look for you know, a nice little short read. They're like 10 minutes each. I love it. I also consider writing, but I'm not a good writer, but we'll see. Maybe 2021 will change that. Second page, I like to call my productivity page because there are things that help me work and things that I need in order to get my work done. I have two really easy shortcuts here for video ideas for my YouTube channel. And then on that loud is my Instagram. I post a lot of yoga on there or I used to, but I'm trying to just disconnect from social media and Instagram at the moment. First off, I have my comms or hello folder, which is pretty much my messaging apps, that mail little notification thing I've learned to ignore. I can't get rid of all my emails. I've tried. If you know a mailing or service, let me know. It's just been so high, I had to create another email. I just don't use that old email anymore. Here, I have a create folder, which is pretty much just Adobe products, uh, Lightroom, Premiere Rush, InShot and Adobe, or Freeview, but I use those sometimes if I'm posting on Instagram for yoga, um, but I don't use them that much. Preview is a really cool handy app that helps me kind of visualize and see how my posts are gonna do. So I have my settings app, which I could probably get rid of here. I don't really need it. It's not really something that I use that much. Uh, I could probably hide it. I do have the news here on the left and it's something that I've questioned myself. Um, I don't really read the news. I don't watch the news. I try to stay away from it. I think it's something that Ugh, media is just another topic guys I don't know but I just have it there sometimes I take a glimpse to see what's going on in the world Tim Ferriss and his four-hour work week which is amazing says that he doesn't read media or the news uh, so he says to ask people to give him an update of what's going on and unfortunately I haven't been able to do that so I like to stay up to date with news on my own right here by swiping left. I don't really read everything though, I just take a little glimpse and I stay up to date with whatever is going on in the world because awful things are going on in the world right now and you know I'm trying to stay optimistic, I know that things will get better. Media can be mentally draining for your brain so I try to stay away from that. Another great tip to set up your phone for productivity is removing Siri suggestions. And you can do this by either asking Siri, hey Siri, open up Siri settings. Pretty cool, it opens up all her settings. And when you scroll down to the bottom, um, you see all the apps that Siri suggests. So if let's say you're trying to stay away from social media and you don't want any series suggestions you go to instagram and to toggle the suggest app off that way when you drop down and you search for an app it won't show up and you won't be triggered to use that app 
And you can do this with any app. I do this for Instagram mainly because I don't want to be on it as much. The other awesome tip that I have for you guys is the health app. So if you guys open up the health app, which is on iPhone only, go down towards the middle and it says sleep. You click on that. Here you can set up your sleep schedule, which is great. So for me, I wind down at 10.30 and wake up at 6.50. The reason why I like setting up my sleep on my phone is because during that time, when your phone thinks you're asleep and it's bedtime, uh, you won't get notifications. That means that during that time, even though you're not going to sleep, like my thing says 10.30, but I don't usually go to sleep till 11 or 11.30, but I don't get any notifications. So I'm not triggered to use my phone. I can prepare for the next day. Me preparing the previous night for the next morning means that I'm going to be more productive. Setting up your sleep schedule on your phone is also great because you'll get better sleep. We all know that sleep is very important for productivity. Um, if you're tired throughout the night, you had bad sleep, you probably won't function as well throughout the day. So last but not least, we have silent mode. And I think this is something that I know is so simple and so tiny but we often forget to use it so there for a reason use it um, it's going to silent all your apps depending on what you set it up with um, but for me my phone is mostly on silent and it's amazing especially if i need to get work done i put my phone on silent it doesn't really come off of silent except that night when i need my alarm to go off silent mode is just amazing I love it guys, so remember to put your phone on silent if you're trying to be productive. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video, subscribe if you like this and you want more videos. I upload once a week so definitely come back next week for another video and I'll talk to you guys later, bye!